My name is Eileen Oshie White, and I'm chief of the Northwest Angle 37. I've always had a, a great love for my community. I've pretty much grown up here most of my life. I've seen it grow. I mean, as small as it is, it's grown quite a lot since I was a little girl. I really have a, a big heart for my community. My name is Marianne Cowley, and I am the housing manager for our First Nation, Northwest Angle 37. I maintain the housing stock. I work closely with the chief and council, training, basic home maintenance, HRV maintenance, mold remediation. I know with some homes in our community in the past few years, we've had like extreme levels of mold in the home where we've had to complete like renovation. I did have a couple um, tenants come regarding mold issues, more, more of in the crawl space area. So I think it is a community issue. My name is Keith Smith. I'm an environmental health officer. Uh, environmental health officers actually go out to First Nations and work with the, the First Nations peoples to help them in any issues that may come about in the natural or built environment that may affect their health. Mold for housing is an issue because there are health implications for it. For those people that are more vulnerable, uh, immunocompromised, the older people, the younger people, those ones are more susceptible to it. There have been cases in our community where a few people have gotten sick with it. A member from neighboring community in Nautkumengwaning who is um, quite ill in the hospital right now is almost life-threatening actually. Mold itself does affect our health and our well-being. I do remember um, hearing of families with uh, like asthma problems. For those people that are immunocompromised, it really seems like you get more colds, more flu-like symptoms. Uh, that can be an indication that you're getting a little bit too much mold into your system and it's negatively impacting on you. Now that I see more people having um, asthma problems, we're trying to educate ourselves, educate our people, and hopefully we can take more preventative measures in dealing with mold. For all of the First Nations that I've ever been to and had the pleasure of working with, they really do have a good sense of community. And that can lead to a really, really effective a method for getting rid of or making sure that mold doesn't grow because really what you want is everybody doing their part. <laughs>